What's going on, y'all? Smash my dipper bike here for another video for y'all today. So, what we're gonna be getting in today, get getting into today, is going to be pretty insane. Um. A lot of stuff is going to be changing here. First thing that's going to be different is... Not that, that's for sure. Oh, no. Okay, that's not good. That's fine. We'll just buy another one. Not enough money. I. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. All right. First things first. I'm gonna drink this water real quick. We're going to be talking about uh, some Pro Fishing Planet stuff. Um, stuff like that. <sighs> Excuse me. So first things first there. We need to advance today. Oh how I hate playing this game on PS4. If I get fined for every single one of those fish in my net, I'm going to be extremely upset about that. Not only that, but if it throws all my fish back, which it didn't. Okay. I've never, I've never, um, had that happen before. All right. That is something that I want to adjust on here. Yeah. Never mind, apparently I can't adjust it. Which sucks. Okay. So we'll go over, uh, well, we'll do this in a second. I forgot that I need to show you all my settings. Um, we're actually going to jump into here. We're gonna jump straight into 5 a.m. Forward time. This is gonna cost us some money, thousand bucks. 
Go ahead and extend that. It's Twelve grand. See, we had premium. We made six more thousand dollars, but it's not a big deal. You do not need premium. So you mean with that twelve thousand dollars, we made all our money back. Twelve grand made every last dime back. Right. So with that twelve grand, but the issue is we got to buy another license, which sucks. But it's not that big of a deal. So we get that four grand back in no time. So we'll get this four grand back and then we'll double that out. We'll take two days here and then for uh, day two here, we'll get out of here and leave with our money in the bank. Um, now I don't know where we're going to fish next. We'll probably go down to Louisiana since we're already down here in Florida. We'll go straight over from Louisiana over to Florida. Um, okay. So some big things here. Uh, Y'all did want to see my settings. Uh, what I do for my settings. For my game settings I do English language Imperial which means um, feet and feet and yards instead of um, kilometers and meters and all that um, tackle load I put it on pro because pro allows me to see more things at one time on three different bars and I like to see it like that uh, bobber size I used a big bobber size with no hints and no tutorials and then player models in close range I turn, you know, just the other players on you. Um, Actually, not quite sure if I want to use that or not yet. Okay, doesn't seem like we got. There's people here. I just, I just don't know where. Um, we'll also take a look at our inventory here. Um. And there's multiple reasons why I'm staying another day in Florida. Instead of, I could have left with that 12 grand and left out. Didn't have to buy another one, but there's a reason why I wanted to do it that way. Um, we actually probably won't be using that Cosmo cast anymore today. Alright. I think we're good though. Throw the line out. Get some fishing in. Just a typical lift and drop. So we'll be talking about uh, some pro stuff here. I'll be doing more competitions and stuff like that um, on here. I actually plan on registering a uh, tournament today. Matter of fact, I could actually be looking. at the tournaments this is going to be a nice size fish first fish of the day how big is he going to be it's going to be a trophy 5 pounder I'm going to keep him um, actually after this cast we'll look at the tournament see See what kind of tournaments they got out there anyways. A 
we might enter one and I'll teach y'all about the tournaments and you know select the tournaments um, how the tournaments work and all of that because some of you might have never seen the tournaments before and some of you may have never entered a competition or tournament yet actually for that uh, catfish tournament I didn't win that one but I placed pretty high in it that was a big one the spring catfish alright we'll go ahead and keep him as well all right, so we'll look at uh, events here. Uh, uh, they don't have any tournaments. Tournaments are nice to enter. If you can get into a tournament, enter the tournaments. They are they have four different stages you have to place to move up into the next stage. Um, but if you play, you get so much out of them. I've won a few on the PC, um, a couple top threes and a couple first place. Uh, so we'll look at the uh, availables here. They got one in Louisiana, so we'll definitely take more interest in that one. We got this one in Michigan for cats and night catchers. Salmon Clash. That's going to be up in Alaska. We won't be able to apply for that one. Um, San Joe Quinn. That's out in California. We won't be able to enter that one. It's going to be the Bash Challenge in the Everglades. We won't be able to enter that because we're too high of a level. And one by one. Matter of fact, I got to use the restroom, y'all. I'll be right back.
All right, y'all, I'm back. Apologize for the wait there. I knocked a whole dip bottle over, which was pretty nasty. All right. So let's look at the competitions here. We'll go over the ones that I can't be a part of first. Let's see why I can't join them. Uh, minimum level 30. There's no maximum level on this one. Um, which is unfortunate. Uh, this one. I can't join that one because the minimum level is 34. That maximum level is at 28. So I'm one level too high on this one. See, I wish I could join this Bash Challenge. Um, B, but I can't. They say that these are the uh, amateur leagues. Which, quite honestly, it's not very fair. Um... I think uh, that the developer of this game, what they need to do is they need to make more competitions um, for players like me that are, so players like me, um, we should be verified on this game. Now on PC we're at rank 40, on this we're at rank 29 going on 30. Um, I don't buy premium or anything like that anymore because it's just a waste of money. You do not need premium. A lot of people, um, especially I see it on PS4 community communities all the time um, for this game. Everybody who gives you advice or anything on this game, they're like, oh yeah, well the best way to make money is, you know, farm Alaska. Well, you can't go to Alaska because you're not level 38. Okay, that's problem number one. Problem number two, a lot of you guys are stuck in Texas, um, which is no fun. Let's be honest, Texas sucks. It's not a fun place to fish. Um, a lot of you are stuck on either Texas, Mudwater, or Emerald Lake, um, and that's not fun at all. And most people that play this game, they don't get past level 10 maybe level 15 max and then they're like well I don't want to play anymore because I'm not making any money I don't know where to fish and then you're looking up YouTube videos on how to fish these spots and YouTube I mean yeah YouTube there's a lot of good um, fishing planet tutorials on there but you're not getting that one-on-one -on -one, which that's one of the bigger reasons why I play on the console is because I can use a headset and add people on here uh, that come into the stream and they send me friend requests and we can sit down and actually play the game together and that's what I like to do on my stream is actually play with my stream viewers and my video viewers um, so again like always feel free to add my account my account's right there uh, you can see it on the top of the screen um, but I think what the developers of the game should do, like on PC, I fish a lot of actual competitions that aren't um, necessarily competitions on the game, but pro level uh, competitions against, you know, the, the biggest, the best players on the game. And PC has a higher number of players. Of course they do. Um, but I know everything. I know the ups and downs of this game. Everything around. I haven't um, really played that much on PS4. Um, if you go to my account. When did I register? When did I start playing? Um, 2017. September 2017 is when I started playing on PS4. Um, I have no competitions. Um, I did one competition on here. And that was... Um, for smallmouth bass in Louisiana and that was just a trial run but it wasn't anything that I really could care less about but I've only played 31 days in the game and in those 31 days most of them have honestly been 
oh, I left my PlayStation on, so that's what it was. Um, so I don't have that much time. Uh, PC, I have probably a thousand something days played in that game. Um, of days played. I think I have like a thousand days played or a little bit under a little bit more one of the two I forget exactly but what I think the developers should do though is make more competitions for players like me uh, players should be allowed to be verified if you're a verified player meaning you have you're just there should be a ranking system in this game a verified amateur or you know even not even verified but Verified would mean that you're a big known, a big name player um, that has a lot of followers or whatever. Um, so not necessarily verified, but pro level players, amateur level players, semi pro level players, um, and beginner. So there should be a beginner, an advanced, an amateur, a semi pro, and then a pro level, um, depending on you know your where you stand in competitions and you should earn those ranks through competitions and the higher up and then that should be how you enter in these competitions however you know that's not a thing right now um, probably won't ever be a thing but it's just a big thing that a lot of us have been talking about for a little bit of time now uh, but to get serious with it, explaining the competitions, competitions are very simple. Um, so this one, we'll go look at the competitions by time. I am on the Eastern time zone. So it is 1042 right now in the morning. So the ones that are going to enter, or the ones that are going to be starting here soon will be this one, this one starts at 12 p.m. Why it's listed in the 4 p.m. slot, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, it starts at 12 and ends at 2. So why it's listed in the 4 p.m. slot, I'm not quite sure. I guess the two, three, and four, I, I don't know. This one starts at two. So this one starts at 12, ends at two. This one starts at two, probably ends at four. I'm assuming it ends at four, it does end at four. So we're gonna try to, um, Okay, so we'll look at this one starting off, um, how competitions work. Competitions are pretty simple. You don't need to worry about anything but location, registration time, competition time, and the scoring time and the rules and restrictions. Um, well, to be fair, you need to pay attention to everything. So. If the location is going to be Louisiana, right, you need to know how much money you're going to need to go to Louisiana. You're also going to need the advanced license. So that's the money that you're going to have to spend right alone, right off the bat. Um, to go to Louisiana, I'm not quite sure. I'm pretty sure it's a $10,000 trip. Um, pretty sure it's like a thirteen or $14,000 total altogether. So for me to explain these competitions to y'all so you can have a higher chance of understanding and winning these competitions, it's very simple. So this is going to be a Dancing with Pike. This is a basic competition. Um, it's nothing too serious. So you're going to go to Louisiana. You're going to need to buy the travel pass there. To spend the whole day there. You're going to have to spend the entire day at Louisiana. You had to buy the day. You don't just get to do, a lot of people think, oh, well, if I go to the competition, I get to have the license for free, and I get to travel there for free. No, that's not how it works. You have to buy the license, and you have to pay the travel fee. Registration time, it's a big thing. 12 a.m. to 12 p.m. They give you a 12-hour time frame to register, right? So the competition time, here's another big thing that gets a lot of people in the competitions are if it starts at 12 and it says it goes from 12 to 2, that means you have from 12 to 2 
to compete. That's not true. You have from 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. to complete to complete the competition, which the scoring time is only 30 minutes. So from the time that you spawn in to the lake, the clock starts. That's 30 minutes. You have 30 minutes to compete. So what you're competing for is hunt for all forms of chain pickerel using topwater gear. So if you use a topwater gear, you can't use anything else but topwater gear. You can, but it's not going to work. You can only use keep net. Stringers are allowed or not allowed. So you can only use a keep net. No stringers allowed. So make sure that you have a keep net put on as well as make sure you bring nothing but topwater gear with you. Well, you can bring other stuff too, but just don't use anything other than the topwater gear. The goal, so here's how the scoring is going to work. The primary scoring works is going to be your maximum weight between your smallest weight. So if you catch a 20, so let's use 10s as a factor. So you catch a 20 pound pike. Okay. You're going to want to catch a 20 pound pike to a 5 pound pike. That's a good score. It's not within the tens, it's just within fives, but it's a different thing. Secondary score, biggest single pike caught. So you're going to want to, first off, you're going to want to catch a really big pike and catch a smaller one as well. That's, that's a lot of points right there. So the biggest number in between that you can get so 20 the 20 the 5 would be a 15 point kind of you know score secondary score would be based on what's the biggest one you caught so if you caught a 20 and a 5 20 is the biggest one say nobody else caught a 20 pound pike you were the only person to catch a 20 pound pike and you had the highest you know catch the biggest catch now this is where luck being a lucky comes into play here with that so just remember that also you need to know where the fish for the pike um, so when we will we will apply for this competition because if we apply right now we don't have to be in there for another hour less than an hour and a half an hour and 12 minutes we have to be there in an hour and 12 minutes um, plus another um, hour and a half so that's two it's about two hours and 40 minutes and that we could go in there and compete that's the minimum amount of time now we could go in five minutes before it ends but if we go in five minutes before it ends we're only gonna get five minutes of scoring time weather forecast that's a big thing um, keep in mind with your weather forecast your wind you don't have to worry too much about wind or air temperature um, air temperature plays a little bit of a role, but the biggest thing is sunlight to cloudy to rainy to, you know, sleet or snow or whatever the weather may be. Um, another thing to look into is entry fee. That's another, it's another fee that you're going to have to pay. So that's five hundred dollars plus the licensing and the travel cost with five hundred dollars entry fee. Now, if you did have premium, you could enter for free. Entry fees are then free for all competitions. However, then you look at the prize fund. So the prize fund is $121,439 in 16 bait coins. Which that being said means first place, second place, and third place will get the money. So that so that with that all being said, if you look at it, you did, you know, 41 you did 41,400. Right? So we'll do it. 41,400 Plus twenty seven six plus thirteen eight. That's eighty two thousand eight hundred dollars. That's not even the full prize fund. There's more left over in that prize fund. So you got eighty two eight out of one twenty one four thirty nine. That leaves 38,639 left over. Um, now those will be distributed between 4th place and 10th place. So 
the last you know four five six seven eight nine ten the last seven positions will also get that as well so it doesn't matter if you win or lose you're still gonna get the money so you'll still get fifty five hundred dollars regardless um, if you win or lose however you're not going to get the bait coins so you get 10 bait coins for first which is kind of garbage second is five and then third is one which is all garbage those are high, that's, that's really nothing you sell 10 bait coins that's only a thousand bucks uh, but you could keep them the good thing that you will get is that X series glow and hollow casting spoon which is kind of cool to have but that's just a whole nother whole nother thing um, team plays dancing with the party battle Man, we do swing, blah, blah, blah. okay so that's what it comes out to be so that's that competition explained so cats and night watchers or night catchers um, this one again scoring time all that's gonna be the same so rules and restrictions is pretty much the only thing that I'm going to explain score by catching all forms of blue cat during the night time has you gotta catch it during the night time kayaks during the competition will be allowed so that's something that since it is allowed sometimes they're prohibited some most of the time they're allowed so you can use your kayak okay so that just pretty much cancelled itself out kayaks usage during the competition is allowed but only the fish caught from the shore scores so that's where they made an error so you can use a kayak but it won't count no stringers just keep nets you don't have to keep the fish to keep the points so you can throw the fish back if you don't have a very big nets for people who don't have keep nets that can hold a fish that big winners determined by a score at the end so pretty much what that's telling you is the winner pretty much how you're going to win doing this is by catching the most amount of blue cat the more blue cat you catch the better off you're gonna be the secondary scores based off of the biggest single blue cat caught blue cat so if you just get a regular blue cat that's 12 points every blue cat that you catch is worth 12 points trophies worth 22 and a unique worth of 35 points it's gonna be on a cloudy day which is a pretty decent thing for blue cat Entry fees cheap. Price ones, and this one's worth a lot more money. Um, it's worth good money if you place it first. Uh, X Series hooks, number four rot, right? um, which isn't anything really to that that much great. Salmon clash for y'all that are trying to do salmon clash. So we'll go over rules of restriction. Um, Hunt for trophy and unique forms of salmon, so you don't want to catch commons. Um, so use only spinning tackle and a keep net. Uh, so spinner baits. Uh, spinner baits or anything that spins you can use. A medium spoon you can use. A single spoon you could use, but I just honestly I'd use spinner baits. You'd catch a lot off a of spinner bait alone. Just don't use any crankbaits or anything like that for them. Don't have to keep the fish to get the points. Winners determined by the biggest score at the end of the competition, as well as single salmon caught. So you catch a 70 pound salmon, that's the biggest salmon, you're good to go. Scoring forms are pretty simple. They have all the salmon right there that you can catch. Trophy pinks worth one point per. Unique's worth two per, Trophy Sockeye's worth six per. So then you look at the Chinook, the Chinook is the best um, that you're gonna get. Um, so Ch Coho and Chinook, which are very easy to catch. Um, 
I wish I could compete in that because I would win without a doubt because I know exactly where to get the Chinook and the Coho at. Um, I could catch 40 salmon in 30 minutes, probably. Well, not 40, but let's be realistic. In 30 minutes, I could catch about 20. I could catch about 20 Chinooks, leaving me out to be at like over 100 points at the end. And I'd take home sixty, seventy, six thousand dollars. You get the X Series bullet spinner, which is nice to have. Um, I'll look at this one. See, this one's a little bit longer. You get sixty minutes. You get a whole hour to do this one, which means it's a pain. Um, catch any fish. Okay, this one is a, a lot different. You can catch any fish in the water. Um, again, it says kayaks are allowed to be used, but fish only fish from the shore scores. So, score points land a fish weighing at least five kilograms. I don't know how much five kilograms is. I'm assuming it's about two two pounds or something. I'm not quite sure. Ten. I don't know how much kilograms pounds is. Matter of fact, I can tell you. That's what Google's used for. Uh, so it has to be at least 11 pounds. It has to be at least an 11 pound fish. You don't have to keep fish, keep points. Uh, so explanatory, the winner is determined by total weight of score fish caught. So the score fish, the score to score it has to be an 11 pound fish to score it so the total weight that you get from 11 pound fish it's gonna win, so it's gonna win you and then of course the biggest single catch um, 206,000 so you walk away with 70 grand which is nice bass challenge this would be very easy for me hunt for large mouth using only spinning ses setups with bass shakes and a keep net the winner is determined by the total weight of five largest large mouth in the keep net at the end of the competition. So pretty much you want to just keep on throwing. Well, I wouldn't even throw them back because at the end of the competition you keep the fish and sell them off anyway. Um, secondary score is the biggest single bass caught. I'd win with a 13 pounder and just call it a day. But I'm not allowed to enter because I'm a level too high. Um, and then finally we go down to Colorado for catching those trout one by one should be trout use only in, insects and worm bait to score points here you don't have to keep the fish keep parent to keep the points total score at the end of the competition score points by catching any fish secondaries landing the biggest single catch which is usually always uh, you get one point per fish so it doesn't matter what size the fish is as long as it's a fish you'll get a point twenty four thousand dollars and you'll get a barbless medium spoon so there's your competitions we'll go ahead and apply for this one it starts in one hour so it'll tell us when it's time for that uh, me personally so we'll just keep on fishing um, we'll just keep on fishing Florida we'll keep on fishing Florida until it's time to go down there and compete this is getting on my nerves this needs to go over there Okay. So if I could catch these bass, honestly, I wish I could just catch the bass. But it's not going to let me compete in this challenge because it knows that I will win. Really, I think they should have pro level bass competitions 
where you have to be a minimum level instead of a maximum. I don't think it's fair to the level 40s who have to compete in higher level competitions just because they're higher level. So we just keep on catching these fish in Florida. We'll make our money so we can go to Louisiana in an hour. So pretty much, um, if you're looking to make a bunch of money in Florida, like like I'm trying to do right now, your best bet is to fish for the fish that are pound to dollar. The best pound to your dollar is going to be the bass. They're not as heavy as the other fish, and you keep spacing your keep net and you get more money off of them as well. That should be a decent sized fish. It's gonna be a trophy largemouth. Which the past two fish that we caught just paid for our our um money to go. There. So what I'm gonna try to do.
We're literally just going to sit here and try to farm trophies out of the water. A lot of people hate Florida, which I never will understand why. Florida is so easy. If you can get over the bird the squawking, which I hardly ever hear it anymore because I just ignore it. Florida is a really fun place to fish.
All right, I think it's time to switch over to the popper. Down, and when I slowed it down, I didn't get the fish. When you see that fish start coming in for the bait, you can literally just let it sit there and they'll grab it.
So I just let it sit there and wait for him to grab it. And once I see that fish duck back down under the water, I just start, I just set the hook. It's as easy as that. screwed that one up. Hey, reel that one back in. What's going on, Lewis?
We did attack. We did fish attack two times. Keep on getting that same fish they take. get them on this time. I want to check this um, competition time. Your hard disk from your laptop is broken. You, you don't you don't need you don't need a disc to play the game just uh I don't know if you're playing it on the computer just go to steam and download it on steam for free if you're playing it on the PlayStation like I am right now download it on PlayStation store for free It's six hundred more dollars to pay for that license. And get the money back for that. Um, so do that. I'd also like to get some more money together. So when we go down to Louisiana, we'll have some money. It starts in 30 minutes. So we'll compete in this as well. 
We're gonna try to get first place. I'm trying to get some tournaments. I got a bunch of tournaments on PC. I need to start looking forward to get some tournament wins. First place wins on the PS4. I just, I've only competed in one competition. Actually, it was in Louisiana. And I don't know what happened. None of my score counted. So I ended up with nothing. There it is. We'll play around with this popper for a little bit longer. Then I'm going to switch it up again. That's the number one thing y'all want to do is just keep on switching up your lures back and forth. cast over here Try to hit it deeper in there. This is going to be a nice fish. Six pounder. So that'll pay for the licensing again. Appreciate that, Lewis. It was a nice catch. I don't know what we're going to use in Louisiana. I'll probably end up using the Cosmo Cast. Or we might use the River Tech. Uh, Zeus. Might use this Cosmo. I don't know. We'll figure it out when we get down there.
So we got the bass caster, which is my bass reel. I typically just use this rod and reel setup for for Florida. Just for quick and easy catches. But not too quick and easy that they don't put up any fight at all. So I like to have a little bit of a fight. Um, this, it's an extra heavy setup. Um, so you really just rip bass in without an issue and I don't really like that. But this is also a heavy setup, so it just kind of, it's not extra heavy, but it's a heavy setup. So it just kind of throws everything off a little bit. They are tearing this popper up. Like it is ridiculous how much they're loving this popper right now. You gotta be kidding me. Well, we had another fish coming in, but then we got tangled up. Tangled up in the weeds. Up in those lily pads. So if y'all don't see what I'm doing here, literally all I'm doing for Florida is I sit here in the lily pad channel and I just run line, I just run my line beside the lily pads. And you're pretty much guaranteed to get a catch. Till something stops working and when it decides it doesn't want to work anymore that's fine you just pull your frog out or your bass jig or your spinner bait whatever you're using
I'll switch over to a bash jig again. Starting to hit the point where peak time is going down. We got 4,500. Think about it is I need to go look at the licenses. First thing to keep in mind that's gonna cost us five grand alone. So we're gonna keep in mind about that. Pretty sure it cost I don't quite remember. Pretty sure it's eighty five hundred bucks. Pretty sure it's eighty five hundred dollars to go to Louisiana. something on there what they let loose We almost have eighty five hundred. But what we're going to need to have is going to be nine thousand total. Sorry, more than nine thousand. My bad. We we'll need eighty five hundred plus five. So we need like we need like thirteen five. We have thirteen right now. So I'm gonna try to get the love out five. I'm gonna try to get like five or six thousand dollars before we leave here.
That way when we do leave, we'll have extra money as well. Um, Use crayfish to catch the bass. That's something that I actually didn't know. What's going on? Actually, I actually want to try that out one time. <sighs> Use this, uh, she's a six out hook. That's not what I wanted. I go to 7 p.m. So we'll be in peak time. Oh, I couldn't ask for a better time than this right now. I don't want the fish I was looking for either.
we have that puts us at 54 97 still not quite where I want to be
That's 281. Oh, God. Competition started. Alright, we got six grand. On top of everything else. So, we'll go ahead and leave. Made eighteen thousand five hundred sixty-seven, but we spent twelve sixteen, so we only came out with two grand at the end. Oh, it's only eighty-three hundred to go there. I thought it was eighty-five. I was close. Let's say marked it down. I might have changed the price on it. That's still ten grand, go figure. Fish for this chain. Okay. Second, I'm gonna do something before we go here.
so we're gonna do this challenge here. He's figure out what we need here. Heartbeat. See, I'd much rather be using these, but I don't have them yet, so that's an issue. So I can use, I'm allowed to use frogs, walkers, and poppers. And that's what we're going to end up using here. I need to also buy the license to fish here. So we'll go ahead and buy the Advanced Louisiana. And we'll go ahead and travel so we can do, do the competition. I only know one place to catch. I only know one place to catch the uh, chain. So we're going to enter this competition here. Pretty sure it's this way. not this way It's going to be ridiculous. Come on.
So we'll use the frog. Of course, I got a text message. This is getting aggravating. So maybe I can throw a popper. <clears throat> maybe I'll be able to get a popper to go out there. <sighs> Without getting snagged up. Maybe I can get him off of this. I don't know. Are you s not at all what I want it?
Well, got a trophy spot of bass. Still not the fish that I needed it to be. Try something else here. See if we can
We're just having no luck in this challenge whatsoever.
Of course it costs an arm and a leg to get. Try this out.
Alright, yo. Cut a couple nice size flatheads, but I think I'm about ready to hop off here and go get me a nap. I've been up all night streaming and editing videos, so I think it's about that time I got off. Oh my god. I think it's about time I hop off of here. Well, hope y'all enjoyed the stream. We'll be doing some more later on, probably tonight or sometime. But other than that, hope y'all enjoyed. And y'all be good. <laughs>